Hello everyone and welcome to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with mgrmusic.com and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some Billy Gibbons inspired tones using the Blackstar Silverline Deluxe. For those of you who don't know, Billy Gibbons is the guitar player from the group ZZ Top. So in this video we're going to be taking four tones inspired by four classic ZZ Top tracks, looking at how you can get those kind of tones out of your Silverline series, and also you guys can download these patches yourself. They're all gonna be on the Blackstar Insider community, and they're also gonna be linked down below in the description of this video. So you guys can download these patches, get your own ZZ Top vibe with your own Silverline gear, and tweak them to your heart's content. So the first tone we're gonna look at is an early 70s tone inspired by the track Just Got Paid. At this point in the band's career, Billy was using a lot of real small combo amps, absolutely screaming loud in the studio. So that's what I've gone for here. I'm using the crunch channel for this with the 6V6 response. So the 6V6 tubes are typically found in those small little tweed amps you always see from the 50s and 60s. Billy was using a lot of these amps in the early days of the band. To simulate that completely dimed thing, that's what I've done. I've got the channel volume and the gain on 10, the bass, middle and treble also on 10, the ISF is set to the American position. I've also got the amps resonance set to 10, so we get that nice warm power amp saturation, and the presence is on five. The only effect you're gonna hear in this tone is a little bit of plate reverb just for some space. Now I'm gonna be using a Les Paul for this. With the bridge pickup, you wanna roll the volume on the bridge pickup back to about seven, just to clean it up a slight bit. <laughs> Second tone we're going to look at is a cleaner tone. This is inspired by the intro for the track LaGrange. So I've moved over to a Telecaster now. There's a rumor going on the internet that Billy played this with a Strat, and there's another rumor going on that he played this with his 59 Les Paul. So I've gone for a Tele because that's a nice middle ground. And also, if he did play this with a 59 Les Paul, those early PAF pickups are voiced similar to that of a bridge pickup of a Tele. They've got a lot of bite and a lot of body. So I went with the Tele because it's a nice middle ground. But if you've got a very vintage voiced humbucker guitar, that will also work very well. You need a little extra bite for this because we're playing slightly cleaner. So I'm still on the crunch channel here, but now I've moved to an EL34 response. So I've backed off the gain for this one now to about three and a half, but the channel volume, the bass, middle, and treble are all still on 10. The resonance is also still on 10. The presence now is bumped up to seven for a little top end sparkle. And because I'm using that EL34 response, I've gone fully to the British side on the ISF to give it a little bit of a British flavor. There's a spring reverb on this, as well as the tiniest bit of analog delay performing a slapback function. This just thickens out the tone a little bit more as well. On the guitar, you wanna back the tone control down to about five or six, and the same with the bridge pickup, maybe about six or seven on the bridge pickup. You don't wanna to get too hot, you wanna just take the edge off the crunch. If you run it on full, you are gonna get overdrive, so you wanna back away from that overdrive just a slight bit. <laughs> This is a really responsive tone, so if I now go all the way up on that bridge pickup volume, I'm actually gonna get some overdrive from the amp. So this is great for if you're playing this track, you can actually dial the drive up with just the guitar volume for when the track kicks in. <laughs> I'm back onto the Les Paul for the next tone. This tone is inspired by the track Tush. So for this one, we're using the 6V6 response and we're once again still on the crunch channel. I've backed off the gain even more now to two and a half. The channel volume is still on 10, the bass is on seven, the middle's on eight, and the treble is also on seven. 
the ISF is fully in the British position, the resonance of the amp is on 10 and the presence is also on 7. So I've still got the spring reverb for this one and I've still got the analog delay giving a little bit of a slap back, but I've also added a chorus effect to this one. Now chorus isn't something you typically associate with 70s ZZ Top, it's not used at all on the studio record, but if you listen to the studio version, you can hear there's double tracked guitars and they're slightly out of time with each other. So the chorus is just to thicken the sound and to give that extra width that you get from the double tracked guitar. So it's not really that present as a chorus effect, but it's just a subtle way of widening the guitar signal. For this one, the guitar is on the bridge pickup, the volume is on 10, but I've backed the tone control off to about eight. Billy would often ride the volume and tone controls on the guitar to manipulate the amplifier. <laughs> Fourth and final tone we're going to look at is that from the track Sharp Dressed Man. So now we're firmly in the 80s ZZ Top camp. The guitar tones for this era are super, super processed. I'm back on the telly here because Billy was probably using his 59 Les Paul again, but this is a super bright tone, so this guitar will get me very, very close to what I want from that bridge pickup. So I'm still on the Crunch channel and I'm still on the EL34 response, but now I'm pushing the gain. So the gain is on 9.5 and, and the channel volume is still on 10. The bass is on seven, the middle is on eight, and the treble is on nine. The ISF is all the way to the British side, the resonance is on 10, and the presence is on seven. We've still got the spring reverb, we've still got the slap back delay, but a little bit more, and we've got a lot more chorus, because like I said, at this point of the career, the guitar tones were super, super processed. There was a lot of double tracking and a lot of other weird stuff going on, so I've dialed up the chorus to really nail that 80s sound. <laughs> So there you go guys, there are four Billy Gibbons ZZ Top inspired silver line tones for you guys to take away and have some fun with. Like I said, the patches are available on the Black Star Insider community and they're also linked down below in the description. So if you want to get into any of these sort of sounds, download those patches and put them into your silver line amp and then you can tweak them and have all kinds of Billy Gibbons related fun with them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know down below in the comments what you thought of these tones and if there are any other artists you guys would love to see some tones created in the style of, please let us know who you'd like to see. Don't forget to go check out the Black Star Amplification YouTube channel for more free lessons just like this. There are a bunch of other artist patches already on there and there's plenty more cool ones on the way. And if anyone out there is looking for a guitar teacher, please head over to mgrmusic.com. It's a network of great teachers all around the UK waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.